Yo, what up everybody? Right now, today is an install day. Um, I got a new part in, it's one of my favorite parts. I love, you know, getting these kind of parts or specifically just this one is cause it gives you a good handle, the way how it feels, the way, like the way you shift is, everyone has a big preference. They could go from like little short stubby ones to big long ones. And honestly, they get to get they could get pretty fucking intense and insane. So today, what we're gonna be installing is gonna be uh, a shift knob. Uh, shift knob that I got is a Mishimoto. Uh, I think that's what I, I pronounced it right, Mishimoto, I believe. <laughs> and uh, it's a and it's a nice one. I, I like it. I've never had um, a shift knob like this before. Usually, it was usually I just get a round one, a round you know, just just like a ball round side. That's it. And this one is kind of a bit like a extended one, uh, not too extreme. I've seen some where just they're just like, you know, this is fucking crazy. But let's go ahead and get to it and start the unboxing. Always be careful when cutting anything with a pair of scissors and knives. Always cut away from you. comes in these little mass packaging. It's like one of those where you have something to trick up your sleeve with like, You know? All right, there it is. Woo. Let's see, first, let me make sure, Mishimoto, Mishimoto. Yeah, Mishimoto. Fuck, I hope I'm pronouncing that shit right. It's a Mishimoto shift knob. This is how the packaging looks like. And that's how it looks. I'll get a better view after I cut this bitch up. Shift now, Mishimoto. Designed and engineered in Delaware, USA. Okay. Push the limits, Mishimoto.com. And lifetime warranty too, that's fucking badass. So if anything happens to it or anything like that, fuck, return it. <laughs> that's cool. All right. Oh, look at that. I didn't have to have to struggle to fucking cut it open. I just fucking pulled it open. Just It was just stapled through. <laughs> All right. Oh, wow. This is, this is like, it's got weight on it. On the packaging on there, it said that it's like, it's it weighs about one pound. Well, the whole packaging, I'm assuming. I'm not sure. I, I think it's just the product. But honestly, I got a black one. This is honestly pretty fucking badass. I did not expect it to look like this. Look at that. You can see that. Let's get a better view. Look at that. It's got this glossy, like, metal, gun metal look to it. Look at that. And that's the end right there, the Mishimoto. And this is where the threads are. And also, too, this is, like, kind of a universal uh, shift knob. Like I said, it's not so fucking extreme and long like a fucking one of those dildo shifters they're just so you know but no that's how it looks this is how you know I, i'd be grabbing it um so let's go ahead and fucking install this and also too before i do it does come with these threads and like i said i think i believe this is a universal one so it does come with these here so if any of them like if this just doesn't just fit right on there you have these options to make sure that it's gonna fit on there how it's supposed to so honestly this is this is heavy i did not expect it to be this heavy this is fucking pretty cool supposedly with the weighted shift knob i think i believe of what i've heard and that they um they're supposed uh, it's supposed to help make it smoother when shifting and i don't know how true that is um, but I guess we'll just find out when we get it installed. <laughs> Arizona. It's fucking delicious. All right. Here's my shift knob. It's a stock STI shift knob. I really like the one where was, there's like a black version of the STI. I don't know if that's the with the 20, uh, 2019, I believe, that comes with it. I'm not entirely sure, but this one came with this one. It's got a leather grip on it, um, STI logo on it. 
and then the speeds and then it's like gray and black finishing finish so it's okay i don't you know I, I i it's all right i like it but not as much so we're just gonna go ahead and just switch it out so it's easy as any other shift knob um most of them are all the same that i know of uh, i mean on my previous um uh subaru uh all i had to do is just untwist it you know and twist the other one back on and that's it so all you got to do is just go ahead and get a tight grip on it and just turn it uh let's see counterclockwise and that's it look at that this one was already fucking loose most of them like stock ones like the older versions like my other one my older one it was a 1999 subaru impreza and uh god damn fucker that's a that's a hell of fucking grab that shit all right so that's it and as you can see here it's got a little small hole so i just gotta look at one of the options the threads that it gave me and i just go ahead and use that and um and yeah you know what comparing this one and this one honestly they feel the same they like I, at first i'm like fuck is this weighted one gonna like you know ruin it you know and so but when i'm holding this one here yeah they they feel about the same it's just this one feels let's see switch hands this one feels a little bit more heavier so all right and then as you can see this is a small thread here obviously this is not gonna fucking fit in there look at that big old hole so we're just gonna go ahead and look at these three options that i've got here and match them up and then just go ahead and screw it on to the shift knob then to here so first let's go ahead and match it up first so we'll see See, when you look at these here, they got threads from the outside and into the inside. As you look at them, look at that. Smaller, medium, small, and then and a bigger one. And then on the outside threads, they're all the same. They're all gonna be going into to here. So the outside threads is gonna match up to the sh uh, shift knob here. Oh, fuck, grabbed the wrong one. All right. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm just gonna go ahead and screw it onto here. First, I just go ahead and screw it on. So you count them more easily. I try to put a finger in there and screw it in that way until it stops, and then boom, now it's there. And you don't like to get too tight, just like when it stops. And there you go. Now you just go ahead and screw it back onto here. All right, now it's done. And this is how it looks right here. Honestly, you can see a better view on this um, on this color. I, this is a black one that I got from Subi Speed. And honestly, it looks fucking cool. It looks like a type of gunmetal uh, type finish it has on it. One comparing thing is that between that one and this one is that there is a gapage between here. The only reason why it looks like that is because that it was hiding this part right here. And this one doesn't have that. So if I, if I just go ahead and just, you know, screw it on here. And that's as, that's as far as it could go. And that's one thing that I don't really like about it. Um, honestly, there is some parts to where you could just, you know, uh, swap out this reverse, um, reverse little switch right here where it just goes up. Cause when you go up, it goes up that high. So maybe if you could find something, like if you got like a EDC bracelet or something like that, you know, you could just honestly just wrap it around here and you're good. It's not no biggie to me because I have, uh, you know, festival wristbands like that. You know, like I got this one here, like mine, fuck, but that is not going to be able to cover it. I'm just going to go ahead and just get like a wristband and just tie it right there. And then so you can cover those exposed threads. But overall, I think if uh, if I do swap this out to a different one, like a parent one that I did see that I was thinking of getting, 
um it might it might just hide that i'm honestly not entirely sure but we're just gonna go ahead and find out when i do get that this part here and then that will be in the next video of you know when how to be able to remove this and swap this part out because you do need to do a process and like like there's a pinhole that's holding this and you know if you don't do it the right way you could lose the cord that's connected to this and then you would ha literally have to go underneath the car and then trace it back up and honestly having to do that would be a pain in the fucking ass so short video pretty cool quick and easy install i honestly like it um i'm just gonna, gonna i'm just gonna try to find out how i can hide those threads honestly this ain't no really big to me if it shows a little bit of threads maybe i might find something to cover it do some uh, fucking home crafts or some shit like that to be able to hide it you gotta think out the box but if i do i'll show you so if you do run into the same problem i'll definitely show you guys well thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video and stay tuned for the next video on that reverse bond please hit that subscribe button to see that video thank you guys for watching peace wait before you go i ended up finding something that i could cover it and honestly this is something that's meaningful to me and i actually don't mind it being there so let me show you oh this is just a ribbon here a little white ribbon that i got here my uh my girlfriend invited me to one of her um friend's uh, wedding and uh it was one of my best times and this is when me and her were still talking and i honestly love this ribbon it reminds me of that day of, of when when me and her were first you know started talking and you know we were hanging out in the beginning before we, we became you know boyfriend and girlfriend and and this this is something that i like to keep a hold with me and i like to see every day and and it's just a ribbon that I try to do in like in a little bow. I don't know how to do a fucking bow. So all I did is like tied it like if it was a shoelace. And honestly, it looks pretty badass. And it still works just fine. Um, the only thing bad, uh, thing is, is when you do put it in reverse, you have to go like this. You have to like extend. And usually I used to go just go like that. But now you're just going to have to just go up and then reverse. And it should go through. You know, and this is something that I like. And, and it's pretty cool. You guys can go now. Peace.